everyone, welcome back. This is part three of Carve Table Lance, the day we're gonna carve. So to get started, I cut out a piece of paper um, that is the size of my lamp and cut it to the um, size to wrap around it. And then I folded it so that I could create a pattern that repeated. Um, and those lines just helped me to create my design. Once I've got my design drawn out, I then shade in part of the area where I'm going to carve out just to make it easier for me to see what I'm doing. And then I'm going to wrap my design around my lamp. Once I, um, I'll need an X-Acto knife, um, you'll need like a wooden skewer or a uh, needle tool, and then one of our spray bottles. So I will wrap the paper around my lamp and I want it to be on there pretty tight so I'm actually going to use some tape to get it on there and then I'm going to spray the paper so that it bends easier and kind of sticks to the thing and then I'm going to start tracing everywhere I have a pencil line. Once I'm done tracing, I'll remove the paper and start cutting on those lines that I've drawn. I like to use a scalpel instead of a regular X-Acto knife because the blade is thinner and goes through the clay um, much easier. Also, just so you know, the clay now has set up for a while and has, is at like a hard, leather hard consistency and you really want to leave it at leather hard so that you can um, clean it up easier. Um, and like kind of carve into it if you need to without going all the way through. Um, but mine was at a hard leather hard. Um, so I'll actually take plastic and cover it at times so that it slows down the drying process because if it dries too fast in certain areas, um, it could break. So as I am trimming, I'm leaving my pieces in place um, so that it helps with stability and I'm also carving from the top to the bottom. I don't want to remove too much clay from the bottom and leave it heavy on top or it could collapse. Once I finish carving every piece that um, needs to be carved, I will then start um, pulling the pieces out. Um, if the piece doesn't come out in its entirety, then I will cut parts of it away um, and remove section by section so that I'm not um, putting too much stress on, stress on those thinner areas and breaking them. Because once they're broken, they're, they're pretty much gone at this point. So take your time here, remove all the clay, um, and once that's done, we can start cleaning up um, all our sharp edges. So here it's kind of hard to see, but I'm actually taking my X-Acto knife and kind of holding it at a uh, 45 degree angle on all my sharp edges just to remove them. Because remember, if you glaze something that's sharp, you're just going to make it sharper. So take your time, go through all the little pieces and um, remove that, those edges, those sharp edges. Now I had every intention of carving little swirls into these um, round bits of clay, but like I said, my clay was at a hard leather hard and I wasn't able to carve it. So I actually took some um, clay and created these little coils and I'm going to attach them on to um, all these spots. So this part's a little time consuming. Um, remember to scratch and attach when you're putting on here because your clay is at different consistencies. So it's likely that these little um, coils could fall off if you do not attach them properly. Now you don't have to do this. You don't have to add any more carving or texture into your piece. You can be done at this point. Um, it's totally up to you. I just wanted to add a bit more dimension to my piece, um, but totally up to you. And I'm um, going to do both the top and the bottom.
All right, so once they're all on, I'm then going to clean up around them so it doesn't look like I just stuck coils onto these because they're not the right size. And then I'm actually adding some flip that um, and filling in the spaces too. So it kind of looks more like one piece, not pieces stuck together. So this is a bit time consuming, but I think um, the payoff in the end is going to be better than just sticking these on here. And then I'll actually carve into them and um, they'll look more like um, a one piece, like I actually carved into the clay that was already on my lamp. And I'll actually add um, some soft clay too um, in between the two swirl um, coils so that they look like they're coming right out of that piece and then I'll carve into that soft clay. Um, if you look at my final piece, you'll see that the um, different um, drynesses of clay did end up cracking. So I do suggest maybe um, if you get to this point, spray it a little bit with um, some water and then wrap it in your plastic and let the whole piece rehydrate instead of going from one to the other. Um, it's not worth rushing when you've already spent so much time on a project like this. If you choose to carve into your um, piece in addition to just creating your holes. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Bye.